Okay, welcome back to Daily Driven Alpha. Uh, today we're having a look at our project car's uh, differential. It's out of the 1600. It's not a limited slip diff. And uh, what we've done um, is we've already split it open, but what I'll do is I'll show you uh, some of the key uh, things to consider while you split this open. First of all, uh, what you'll need to do is get hold of at least one of the brake lines and disconnect it. So this brake fitting, this hard line here, is held on by clips against the actual uh, diff itself and you'll see connected up into uh, the, the brake itself. The other end flows round and fits into a three-way fitting um, up here. We've got a flexible line that uh, goes to the braking system and the other hard line goes around there. You also need to disconnect uh, the handbrake uh, mechanism which is uh, basically bolted on into the diff. That's easily taken off uh, with some split pins etc and it's just the cables you remove that. So what we did was uh, get rid of the, the brake line first of all, take that out and then started to go around and undo all the bolts. Now you can see that we've already undone these but there's three sections that have these tab washers that go across that are bent over traditionally and then you'll find that there's one small one that's left on its own and it has its own little tiny tab washer so you'll also need to remove that. Once you've undone those you have another bolt here that holds this section on and you'll need to unscrew that and pull that out. So just take these off quickly and you'll see these. These these washers themselves can be reused again. Clean them up and reuse them if they're okay. Or if you if you fancy it and you've got the money you can go and buy new ones from Classic Alpha. So what happens now is uh, the the actual shaft uh, the half shaft runs all the way through and runs into a spline here inside the differential and what you'll be able to do now is we'll be able to split this right, and you'll see it pop open so now you can see that there it is there let's pull that out completely let's have a look you'll be able to see the actual right, there's the shaft itself and you can see the race in there that uh, the the diff runs on there's no seal in there the oil runs all the way through down through to the wheel bearing and the seal is down the other end you can see here that the splines actually look in pretty good condition the oil that came out of this was very nice well I mean it was a little bit a little bit uh, golden brown and obviously it had some use but it was in really there wasn't any anything to really worry about so this part of the diff with the so the crown and pinion now you can see if you, we can pull I'll just stabilize this but this actually just pulls straight out so you don't have to split this section off, but we might do that just to clean the whole thing up. And there you can see splines on that side look good. Teeth looking pretty good, very even. No chips, no damage. Inside's looking pretty good as well. And if we get in here and have a look. These are looking pretty good as well. This is moving nicely. Right. Overall, diff itself looks pretty good. So what we'll do now is we will button this up, put it back together again, put a little bit of uh, aircraft sealant along here so that uh, there is no gasket and uh, button the diff up, clean it all up put some oil in it and then uh, we'll uh, actually pull the uh, we'll pull the shafts out 
and we'll, un we'll put, break this all down, undo all these because your wheel bearing is actually inside the shaft here. So what we'll do is we'll split all that open and then the shaft will come out and we might replace the wheel bearing at the same time. Brakes need to come off, uh, they need to be refurbished. Uh, this, one, yeah, this one you can actually see no brake pads in it. The, uh, the pots themselves I think have probably seized up. Although we're pretty happy with the uh, brake lines themselves because there was still fluid in there so we didn't see any evidence of corrosion which is nice. So 1600 diff, not that much to it, uh, but uh, we wanted to pull it open and inspect it. We had no idea what the, uh, what the condition was going to be like, but we've been pleasantly surprised. Okay, let's put it all back together now and then clean it up. Hope you enjoyed that.